Dialogue was the key word at the first annual County of Los Angeles Community Policing Conference, which gathered stakeholders, community members, and representatives of different county departments. There are those who feel that law enforcement cannot be reformed or transformed. I am not one of those people. I really hold out hope because I'm seeing the action that's being taken by all the leadership in our county and because of the activism of our residents. The sheriff hasn't had oversight in their more than 150 years of history. So there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of hurt, uh, a lot of hope and a lot of promise that we have to discuss today. The key goal was to help build trust between law enforcement and the community at large. The conversation about police community relations is one that's at the heart of what causes us to constitute uh, civility in our respective communities. The conference was designed by a joint planning committee of the Los Angeles County Civilian Oversight Commission, the Human Relations Commission, and the Department of Public Health. In many of these situations, uh, mental health care uh, is a critical component, and that's something that has not been given enough attention or funding throughout the years, and we're in a position today where it appears overwhelming, but I think that if we work together, we can have great results. There was also discussion on the use of technology by law enforcement and accountability. What can we do to reduce or eliminate violence? So we started with the taser weapon. The idea there is very simply to make a weapon that stops a threat with much lower risk of injury. Uh, and then body cameras came about because we saw so much distrust and controversy about when police were using force, whether it was a taser or a firearm. Uh, and so it was pretty obvious if we could record these incidents, we could bring facts to the situation. And what we've learned since then is that it's actually made police officers more careful in how they use force. It's made people who are interacting with police more careful because they know they're being recorded. The group sessions encouraged raw and honest conversations, including one on implicit bias titled, Why Are They Always Calling the Cops on Me? That has to do with kind of a broader historical framework that we should be looking at uh, in, in terms of the role of law enforcement historically, uh, who law enforcement has been a tool of. One of the attendees, James Nelson, spent 29 years in prison and now works as a justice advocate. I think this here is a wonderful opportunity and uh, it shows if a former gang member could come to the table and talk about some resolutions to help heal our city, I think that people that's wearing badges, they should be the first ones at the table. It's a good step in the right direction. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, I'm Naiba Reynoso.